Hey everyone, hope you're having a fantastic start to your day. Wanted to hop on and talk to you guys today about a word that God dropped in my spirit when I was getting ready this morning. And he spoke the words graduation month to me. And I was like, that's interesting. And so whenever I get a word from God, I try to pray about it. And I'm like, is this a me thing or is this a corporate body of Christ thing? And he was saying, it's it's a you thing, but it's a corporate body of Christ thing as well. And so I'm, I'm super excited to get this word out to you guys. And I do have a scripture I want us to dive into to today. We're going to be taking a look at Philippians chapter 1 verses 4 through 6 today and then we'll dive into this word a little bit more. So it says, always in every prayer of mine for you, all making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. And then the other one that I wanted to read to you guys is James chapter one, verses one through four. It says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes in dispersion greetings. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing, that word's important, of your faith produces steadfastness and let the steadfastness have its full effects that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing. All right. And so what I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about today is this whole concept of a lot of you guys this month represent a graduation month, a month of finality, of closing out of old chapters and stepping into new chapters in your personal life, right? And so the first scripture that I read you guys out of Philippians talked about he who began a good work in you completes the good work, right? I want you guys to think about what a graduation represents in the natural, right? A lot of times when you go to graduate, it takes about four years for a lot of people right? For kind of an undergrad, maybe, you know, high school diploma, master's degree, doctoral degrees, you know, they're a little bit different, but it takes several years usually of working towards a goal of, you know, taking multiple tests on various areas of curriculum, right? Before you can obtain that graduation certificate, right? That symbolizes that you are considered kind of almost a master of whatever area or discipline you studied, right? Um, and so, so when you put that on a resume, right, people know, oh, this person is an expert in whatever field it is, right? Um, and so it represents that you've got kind of a broad knowledge of a bunch of things, right? You know, because for a lot of like undergraduate programs, for example, you've got a, a knowledge base that's kind of broad in a bunch of different areas that aren't necessarily specific to your discipline too, right? So for most undergraduate degrees, you've got to have some basic English, some basic math, some basic science, some basic history, right? And so you, you touch on a bunch of different areas so that you're kind of well-rounded as a person, but then you also do a deep dive in those last couple years, a lot of the time into whatever your specific area of discipline is, right? Um, and so you, you can dive deeper into the specific area that you're called to. And for a lot of you guys, you have been in a prolonged season of testing. This scripture that I talked to you guys about second at, in James chapter one, verses one through four, talked a lot about testing, right? And it said, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing, amen? Testing in our lives as a Christian is rarely fun been there, done that, lived it, it's not fun, right? Um, but tests are so important because when you take and pass a test, it shows that you have mastery of a subject area, right? That's why teachers, when you are going through school, will periodically give their students tests, right? Because if you can pass the test, a lot of times it signifies that you've got a certain level of mastery of the subject area. And if you fail the test, you often have to retake the test, right? Or retake the course. If you fail the course, go back around the mountain, so to speak, right? Um, until you can gain mastery of that thing. And then once you do, you can move forward, right? Well, God does the same thing with us in our personal lives. You know, our faith, the Bible says, has to be tested because when it's tested, it proves whether or not your faith is genuine, 
right? And so what God does when he is preparing you for greater levels of blessing in your personal life is he will take you through seasons of testing, right? And sometimes there are short seasons where he walks you through a particular subject area, you pass the test, you pass the course, so to speak, and you move on to the next thing. But then sometimes there are bigger seasons. These represent graduation seasons in your walk with God, right? These are where you kind of hit a culmination phase where all of these little tests that you have taken, all of the steadfastness that you have worked on over the last few years, decades, whatever it represents in your life, culminates in a big moment and God says, stamp, well done and my good and faithful servant, right? He goes, you are ready to handle more. I've entrusted you with a little. Now you were able to go to next level blessings, right? Think about it. When someone graduates in the natural, right? It often makes them eligible for different types of jobs. Often it represents a bigger pay bump, um, depending on what they go into, right? Um, often it represents, you know, that they are able to step into and to steward greater, greater levels of authority or opportunity. They are in trusted with more, right? And so what God is saying for a lot of you guys for this month, that a lot of believers in the body of Christ have graduated. Amen. We just finished a Passover season, right? And I think that that is so symbolic. And, you know, I think it's interesting that even in the natural, May tends to be a month where a lot of graduations happen, right? But I think that what God was showing me this morning with all of this is that for a lot of you guys, as we passed over this this past week, right? God is saying that now you're going to start to see some shifts for many people in the body of Christ who have passed their test. So this is not for everybody. Some people were not obedient. Some people didn't study. Some people didn't have the right heart stance, right? And so those people are going to have to retake the course, quote unquote. They're going to have to go back around the mountain. But for most of you guys who are tuning into this, a lot of you guys, you have worked hard in this past season. You have tried to be obedient. You have weathered some very, very intense storms in your personal life, and you're about to see some of the rewards rewards from that. And so there's greater rewards with a graduation than there would be for just like passing a course, right? They're both big landmarks, right? But when you graduate, it is a bigger, um, landmark, I guess. I don't know a better word to use for that, but it's bigger is what God was saying. And it opens up more opportunity. It opens up more doors. And so there is a very significant shifting of season alignment and assignments for many of you that are happening in this month. It represents the breaking of cycles for many of you guys in your personal life. So God showed me that this word is going to apply to different people in different ways. For some of you guys, this is going to represent assignments changing in the physical and the natural realm. Right? So for a lot of you guys, this may represent you being given more in terms of ministry assignments. This could represent job changes, right? This could represent moves in the natural because God can trust you with more. So places of increase that are coming to you financially or with what you're able to steward, right? This represents that kind of a thing. So for some of you guys, it will be represented physically. You will see physical shifts in the natural that are going to reflect the graduation that you have now stepped into in the spirit. Amen. And for a lot of you guys, it's not going to be a physical thing that changes. But for some of you guys, it's going to represent the breaking of cycles that have been keeping you going around and around the mountain for forever in your personal life. Cycles of depression broken, cycles of addiction broken, cycles of anxiety broken, cycles of, you know, just these long-term patterns that have kept you kind of in limbo. But this time you've passed your test. This time you've learned the lessons that you need to learn so that you don't have have to go back around the mountain, right? And so that's why it's so important. And I want to say this as a kind of a warning for you guys in love. It's so important that you finish well. Finish honorably at your current assignments, right? Finish in a way that would represent Christ well. Don't just, you know, go, oh, I'm packing up. I'm not going to, you know, do some introspection, ladies and gents, because God brought you through everything that he's brought you through for a reason, right? It's so that you could learn it, so that you could grow. You know, a lot of times we think about the graduation moment as being the thing that we've always believed and worked for, but you know, really it was all the little journeys along the way, all those steps, all those tests that you have passed over this past season that have made you who you are today, 
ladies and gents. And so understand that sometimes there are big moments in our lives, right? Sometimes there are big moments where we are able to handle more promotion, right? Where we are able to handle more opportunities um, in our personal lives. But those little moments are just as significant because God is building your strength. He's building your endurance so that you can receive greater levels of promise. And so I think for a lot of people, this month is going to represent a month of suddenlies, of swift changes, of new things, of new alignment, sometimes in terms of people that are coming into your life in terms of, you know, um, greater levels of things that you're able to steward, whether it's finances or assignments in your personal life. And for a lot of you guys, this is going to serve as a confirmation, right? You passed your tests in this past season and God goes, you know what? I began a good work in you, just like it talked about from our scripture out of Philippians today. And he's going, I didn't just begin that work to leave you. I didn't just do all of this stuff in your life for nothing. My goal was to bring it to completion in your personal life, you know, so that you can walk in the fullness of what I have for you. A lot of you guys have been crying out for these bigger level blessings, for Ephesians 3.20 blessings in your personal life. The exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond all you could ever ask, hope for, or imagine blessings. And God's going, well done, my children. You know, he's going, it is time for a lot of you guys. You've proven through passing these tests, your faith has been tested. You have proven that you are ready for this next level in your personal life. And so God is going, get ready to receive. This month is a month of gratitude graduation, a month of closing out the old and stepping into the new for many of you guys in your personal life. And I, I just want to encourage you guys, you know, I know that it's been tough for so many people. So many people have been in a place where they are desperately needing a move of God in their personal life. They're desperately needing a place of breakthrough. And I want to tell you guys, God is coming through and your only job is to put him first and to be obedient to what he tells you to do. He's the teacher. He's the one who leads you through the lessons you need to pass. He's the one who knows what it's going to take to get you to that graduation in your personal life. And so for a lot of you guys, this represents the closure of a season. This represents a time of celebration. This represents a time of victory, right? And this represents a time of passing over into the new things that God has for you. So get excited, stay excited, and congratulations on your graduation in the spirit. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll chat with you again soon.